Okay, so I'm just sitting here reflecting on this weekend. Because a few, maybe a month ago, a little over a month ago, I shared a video on YouTube called, um, you know, Mama, do you have the capacity? And so I've really been in a space of really just understanding, okay, what all I have the capacity for in this season. It's probably a little bit, it was probably more than a month ago. It's probably more than a month ago. But what all I have the capacity for in this season as a mom, right? Not trying to keep up with the Joneses, but really just staying in my lane, my zone for me and my family. I was thinking recently because... I added in something else to my mommy schedule. For a few weeks ago, she was only doing swim lessons. And I was like, I can handle that. Swim is an essential skill. Let's do it. Like, let's make this situation happen. And so my daughter expressed interest in wanting to do soccer. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let's do soccer. And one of my really good girlfriends is a mom too. Her son was doing it. I was like, oh, let's do it together. She's like, yeah, girl, let's do it together. I sign her up, okay? And I was just like, okay, we're going to do this thing. We're going to make it happen. And so I was taking her to soccer practice. And after the first practice, honestly, first of all, the first practice we get there, she went on the field and then there was like a little water break and she came back and she didn't want to go back out. And then she started crying. It was a whole scene. And the way that my daughter's life is set up right now in the season if there are people around, it intensifies because there are people looking and they're like, oh, uh, uh. so I had to do like the gentle parenting mommy thing, take her outside of the, the group of everybody else. I'm sitting on the grass, which I don't like sitting in grass, trying to be eye level with her, trying to like just talk to her and say like, what's going on? She's like, I don't want to do soccer. I want to go to the playground. And I was like, okay, well, listen, we're here to do soccer. You can go to the playground after. So she went back on the soccer field and she did a little bit of soccer. That was the first practice. We went for a second practice and she did a little better, like as far as like, and I don't want to compare better or worse, whatever, but she did go on the soccer field. She did her little dribble with her legs and everything. And then another water break happens. She comes to me and they separate the boys from the girls and she wasn't with her little friend. And so she's like, I don't want to do soccer. I want to go to the playground. So again, here I am taking her out of the, the group of everybody else because she's making, she's just having a moment. And I'm again, sitting in the grass, getting eye level, trying to talk to her. She's sitting on my lap. I'm like, it's okay. Do you not want to do this? I'm not going to force you to do this, right? And so she's like, I don't want to do soccer. So she didn't play for the rest of the evening. Fast forward to this Sunday. This Sunday was player evaluation and uh, uniform pickup. <laughs> and she didn't play at all, y'all. And she, the ride there, she's telling me, Mommy, I don't want to play soccer. And so I learned a lesson on that Sunday. To your own child, be true. That's the message for today. Because what I realized is that my child was telling me she didn't want to do it. I want to play on the playground. I don't want to do soccer. I want to do this. I don't want to do soccer. And I was just like, well, no, girl, you'll do it. You said you wanted to do it. And it'll be fun. Oh, look at everybody else. Go ahead. Don't you want to have fun with everybody else? And I'm literally, as I'm embracing the whole, I'm, my narrative, my new narrative and my new normal of, I'm only going to live in the space of what I have the capacity for. Here I am putting my daughter in a situation, although it's, 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 you can call it, you know, harmless, whatever, but putting her up against other kids. See those kids? Look at what they're doing. Don't you want to do what they had? She's like, I don't want to do it. And so I realized, you know what? I got to honor my child's her request. This is an extracurricular activity. This is not like swimming or like something that is an essential skill or something that she needs to do. She doesn't need to do soccer to thrive and, and live her best life, right? Or live just life in general. She don't need it. And so to your own child be true, mama. I know for me, I was looking forward to being a soccer mom. Like I had my little chair, had my water bottle. I was like on the field. She had her soccer. I mean, I got the soccer short. I mean, I was just, I was looking forward to being in this space, but my daughter wasn't really having it. She's like, I don't want to do this thing. And so I'm learning to, to my, to your own child be true and to my own child be true, which means that if you're saying, mommy, I don't want to do this, then I need to listen. And in this situation, yes, I can adjust no problem. We don't have to go back. I'm not going to force you to do an extracurricular activity. I'm not going to force you or even try to bribe you because at one point I was like, oh, well, you can have a lollipop after it's over and you can. Why? Why? Save your coins, mom. 
and let the babies play on the playground. Like, that's just where we are. Swim is going well. She's still doing swim. We're transitioning to private lessons. And you know what? That's what I have the capacity for, and that's what she enjoys doing. The soccer situation, this season, it is over. Three practices in, and it's over. Yes, I paid for the whole season, but I'm not going to force my child to do something you don't want to do because you know what? It was giving work. It was giving exhaustion because for that little 30 minutes that she was on the field, most of it, for a good 20 minutes of it, I'm over here trying to coerce and trying to like get her to get back on the field and trying to, I, I'm not a, I'm not a soccer coach. And I just wanted to sit on the sidelines and look cute. I just wanted to sit on the sidelines with my hat and just cheer on my baby. I didn't want to do anything else, but it turned into work. And what I don't have time for in this season is extra work. No, I'm not adding that in. So that, that that's not in the lane of my capacity, what I have the capacity for. So the message again, y'all, like, moms, like, honor your kids. Who cares if everybody else's kid is doing it? Who cares? I am speaking to myself. I had to get out of my own way and say, you know what? Who cares if all those other little babies out there looking cute with the little shin guards on? My child doesn't want to do it. So here we are yesterday. We left early from practice. It was my husband was with me, thankfully. And I said, you know what, babe? I said, it's okay. She doesn't want to do it. Like she's clearly having a moment and I don't want to force her. And although we pay for it, it's super cute. It's a cute club. It's okay. It's okay. So I know for next time, I know for next time. And so I think honestly, what I did was I took her simple. I just want to kick the ball around and play soccer with you, mommy, with you, daddy. And I turned it into, oh, well, let's go ahead and do soccer as a thing. So anyway, lots of lessons there. But the main thing I'm realizing again is I'm embracing what I have the capacity for. I need to also understand and respect what my daughter has the capacity for and her requests and things like this. And to my own child be true. I can't compare her to other kids. I can't compare her to what other kids are doing and what they like and what they don't like. Who cares? Right now, of course, this is all within reason. There are certain things that girl know you're going to do that because you need to do that. But for extracurricular things like this, it was not a necessity, you know? So anyway, to your own child be true, mama. That's the word for today. That's the word for this season. That's the word going forward. I feel like that's something, this is going to be a lesson that's going to reoccur, to be honest, as I grow in this thing called motherhood, because there are going to be a lot more things presented to me that my child can participate in, can do, um, and she might not want to do it. And it's, that's okay. If she don't want to go and like, she don't have to do it. I'm, I'm just, I'm not doing that for my, I'm not doing that to my child. I'm not doing that. I would hate for someone to do that to me. For me to like, just, I'm just thinking now, like if somebody in my current situation, if I over and over kept saying, I don't want to do this, I'm not interested in doing this. And they kept making me do this, kept trying to force me, kept trying to bribe me, kept trying to coerce me, kept trying to woo, woo, woo me, kept trying to compare me to everybody else and what they were doing. I'd be miserable. And I don't want my child to be miserable because of something that really is not even that big of a deal. Okay. So that's where we're going to leave it. Thanks for coming to my little TED talk, you know, and girls, ladies, mamas, I just got to say, I'm trying out a new makeup. I'm not talking about what it is just yet, but it's giving skin, which is what I really wanted for this summertime because it's been really warm. Um, my neighbor's coming out. I love my neighbors. Like my neighbor, my immediate neighbors, actually the, the three immediate neighbors, like they're all so super dope. I love them. Black women just, I love them. Um, anyway. So we're going to go in, we're going to get this day started and to your own shall be true. That's the word. All right. Love y'all. Catch you in the next video.